Huh? What the? There's an even worse stench coming from over there. Oh, it's making my nose go weird. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Pokemon Ranger. Let me just adjust my wrist glove there. I can't wrist glove. Last time, we made it down here into the Fall City Waterworks because we got a stinky problem to solve. Ugh. Okay. There's a lot down there. Beware of the sludge underfoot. Yeah, sure. What does this guy have to say? I can't even talk to him because I'm on a ladder. Uh, wow, I never expected to see a ranger here so quick. I'm gratefully impressed. The sludge coating the floor is where what was left after we tried to filter the water to make it drinkable. The sludge is very slippery. Don't try and skate on it or anything. It's too dangerous. So, the, uh, the coughing will poison you and make you walk ridiculously slowly, which is all time, or all kinds of bad, which, uh, it sucks. I mean, eventually it wears off. Does it actually wear off? Is it actually gonna wear off any time now? Um, apparently not? Was I even meant to go this way? Oh my goodness, please, we'll stop with the poison. Uh, it is a bit slippery, actually. Yeah, it is a little bit slippery. Anyway, let's go back up here. Really slowly. <laughs> and then up here. I wonder if you catch the coughing, if it makes life a lot easier. Alright, and here we have the Raticate, which really doesn't like us. So, here we go. Raticate. Uh, I'm actually going to use uh, Corfish. Because we got Corfish and we got a Totodile, so... Uh, let's grow the bubble and flick it. That was a huge... F no, it wasn't. And let's easily catch this thing. 30 points. There we go. Or 30 XP points. Fantastic. Alright. Lots of XP there. And we got the, the cutting times two field move, which we need. And look, we can move quickly again. That's great, isn't it? Okay, so back down we go. Is it actually slippery? Yeah. It, wow, it's really slippery. More coughing. Nope, this is bad. Okay, two coughings. That's fine. We'll catch them. Um, oh, we don't have enough room to... Uh, to use, uh, to, to capture them both at the same time. Unless we can paralyze them. This might be a bit easier. Okay, let's give that a go. There we go. D Wait, did it break? Oh, it broke. That sucks. Okay, well, we've got our, our partner gauge back up again, so let's use the Poke Assist once more. And they're not going to be next to each other. Oh, wow, only one of them was caught. Uh, like... Oh, okay, this is bad. Gonna have to catch them one at a time. Or I'll, or I'll have to run away. <laughs> oh wow, it broke my, broke my ring there. Okay. Okay, managed to catch one. That actually took a lot of concentration. Um, let's see if I can catch this one. It's really difficult to see. <laughs> Plus the coughing, they look like they inflate when they attack. I don't think coughing... Yeah, they're not going to be any use. Unless the pokey or the poison pokey assist. Yeah, I will get rid of both of those coughings actually. Okay, um, right, so, so I think literally the only thing that is wrong, so maybe getting poisoned by the coughing wasn't such a bad thing, because the only thing that, can I go up, thank you very much, the problem with that floor was, um, the fact that you can fall down, so maybe the coughing slowing you down isn't such a bad thing after all. Alright, let's head back over to where we saw that fence at the, like, the entrance to the waterworks, and then use the Graticate to bite through it. I guess we're going to bite through it anyway. Get a Magmite there. Oh, oh Corfish, no. Nope. Corfish, bad. Uh, okay, well, looks like the Raticate is going to bite through it, which is fine. But we're probably going to end up having to catch Corfish here. Metal fence was cut up into tiny fragments. Yeah. Okay, the Corfish isn't going... Oh, the Corfish is going after us. Never mind. There we go. All right, so we have a Magmite there, which is probably going to attack us. We have a Croconaw. Okay. I will happily take a Croconaw. Um, probably going to use my Pokey Assist here. Oh, maybe not, because, hmm, because it only takes four rings, it will attack. Oh, ouch. You know what? Pokey Assist is there for a reason, let's just use it. It's super effective as well, so, there we go. Uh, just keep running rings around it. 55 experience. Experience! Yes, there we go. Lovely jubbly. And we got two, uh, water field moves from that as well, just in case we need it. So Croconaw will jump out of the water, which is fine. Okay, looks like there's two, yeah, there's two dr uh, Grimers to catch here. So, uh, I'm actually going to try and use Drowsy here. Psychic Power levitates Pokemon helplessly in place, that's your chance to capture it. It's going to be super effective against the Poison types as well, which is going to be great. 
Okay. Oh, I can't quite catch both of them at the same time. Which is fine. Oh, I can't catch that one as well. There we go. <laughs> Alright. It was that was pretty easy. I didn't catch them both at the same time because they were um, they were too far away. Our ring wasn't quite long enough. Hey, it's you. Good job. Do you maybe like this aroma? It's making me nauseous, but I'll do my job and take what you capture. Don't expect me to breathe. Oh dear. Drowsy was actually pretty darn helpful there. Uh, basically like uh, Plusle, or Minin even. Plusle or Minin, I guess. Um, but super effective, which was fantastic. Alright, let's head down here and see what else we got. There's a Pokemon to our left here. It's another Totodile. We'll just go around him. Uh, what do you say? Uh, flowing water ahead, please watch your step. Full City Waterworks Department. So I'm pretty sure if you go on the left one, you can't actually go any further. Oh, it's just ridiculously hard to walk. Oh, Corfish. Hello. Uh, you know what? I'm pretty certain that we're meant to go in the right one anyway, from what I remember playing the game before. So we're going to go in the right one and explore it. Oh, hello. Dazza, what are you doing here? You're capturing the mass outbreak of Grimer? Huh, sounds like the perfect job for a rookie. My mission is to investigate the Gorok Squad. We got word that one of their members is lurking down here. But anyways, it smells beastly here. I can't be wasting any time on my top priority mission, so I'll be on my way. Ooh, okay, so the water does actually push us. That That's frustrating. Okay, let's go. What we got? We got a corefish. Uh, oh, okay. Two corefish. Do I catch them for the experience? Uh, sure, why not? Mine them, help us out. Hopefully they stay close to each other. Yes, okay. Lice, or oh, lice, nice experience here. 27 for both of them. That wasn't too great, actually. <laughs> Alright, 54. Eh, I don't know. Uh, you have one too many. Oh, would you like to reorganize? Yes. I will release two core fish, because we don't... To be fair, we don't even need the Croconaw or the Totodile either. Like, we've got too many water Pokemon. Alright, down here. More coughing, which is always fun. Try and avoid getting... Okay, never mind. <laughs> Wild coughing. So what we can do is we can just, like... Uh, well, I was just going to draw a ring around it and release it. But... Or, like, run away. But we may as well catch it, because can always do with experience because the quicker we level up our style the more the more time we have to enjoy the long length of line okay so remember it's slippery caution slippery when covered in oh poison so does it not attack us when we're poisoned like oh it does attack us when we're poisoned that's fine I will run away from this one um, oh okay I missed oh okay it got me it got me there we go run away no uh, run away there we go up we go. Hopefully it won't attack us still. <laughs> and hopefully when we move to the next area, the poison will disappear because, ugh, walking this slow. What's the point? Okay, we've got another... Oh, uh, okay, still poisoned. We've got another core fish. Uh, you know what? I'm going to give the, uh, the the coughing a go. See what this does. Uh, it's got poison. So, uh, creates a toxic. Oh. Oh, does it just, like, stop it from moving fast or something? Oh, it does. It sort of traps it in place. Okay, fair enough. Kind of like the grass one. So, we'll capture it just because we can. I wouldn't mind finding a Magnemite. Uh, so, we can see that pole over there. It says that we... Uh, a Pokemon can sling vines across this post to leap across the, the gaps. So, eventually, <laughs> when we can get there, we'll walk down this pipe. There we go. Jeez. We have a save point. So, very helpful if you need it. Uh, okay, going around here and up through this gap. Keep going around. This mission is actually quite a lengthy one. We got a Magmite. I think I'm going to catch it uh, just so I can recharge my Styler. I am going to have to release something for it though. Okay, so what does this do? It just spins. Oh, excuse me. Come back here. Oh, that's actually ridiculously easy to capture. Yeah, I do want to recharge my Styler because we're, we're running a little low on energy. Um, yeah, I'll release. You know what? I'll release the Totodile and the two Corefish. We've got a Croconaw to use uh, the, the water type move if we want to. Uh, yep, yeah, we'll get Magnemite's help. Thank you. Charge me up. That's very much appreciated. Thank you, Magnemite. Thank you indeed. Anything over there? Nope. Anything over... Oh, that Croconaw is one which uh, we can capture. Oh, Drowsy. Ooh, hello. Uh, beware of weak and concrete walls. They're susceptible to crumbling. Yes, in fact, they're very susceptible to crumbling. Um, in fact, we only need a one fighting type field move in order to capture it. 
Okay, so it will attack us like that. Get a nice bit of XP because that Drowsy is going to help us capture some more Grimer and potentially the boss of this area as well. Styler's level went up. Fantastic. Energy increased by two and line length increased by five. Very good, very fine. All right. A couple of Grimers over here. So, all oh, three of them. <sighs> um, I think this is a perfect opportunity to use Drowsy. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch all three of them. Maybe I will. They are very grouped up. Extra XP. 54 for each of them. Okay, that's like 162, if my maths are correct. Yeah. Very good. All right. Ranger, come and take these Grimer away. This is like your jackpot here. Sometimes Rangers work out the public site. This is horrible. I can't talk. Talking makes me breathe. I'll say these. Uh, I'll take these without a word. Yeah. Well, take them quicker because they stink. <laughs> okay. So, can I carry on, please? Thank you. Uh, let's carry on moving. Oh, hello. Oh, what well, if it isn't Dazza? Do you want to cross over to this side? Won't be any fun if I just tell you. So I'll give you two hints. I'm only saying this once, so listen. There is a post here, and there is a tangler somewhere. You can figure out the rest by yourself, but I'm going to go now. Bye. Well, I kind of already figured that one out. Hey, Croconaw, I'm going to ignore you. Bye-bye. Hey, tangler. Thank you very much. There's a meditite up there. Oh, yes, we need that meditite. I remember now. All right, tangler. Oh, okay. Oh. Tangler seems quite easy to catch. It just moves quite quickly, and it broke my line. Give me my line back. Okay, 46 experience from that. And it looks like we're going to have to... Croconaw? No, Croconaw, go away. Thank you. Tangler, where are you? Jumpy little Tangler. All right, get Tangler's help. Yes, please. Bubba -da -bub. There we go, jump across, and let's go get that Metatite. <clears throat> Excuse me. There's a Magnemite up there to recharge us if we need to. There's only one Metatite, so we'll take it. All right. It's a wild Metatite. It doesn't seem like it's... Oh, it is going to attack. Okay. Oh, it broke it just as I was about to lift up. And again. It wasn't actually attacking us, though, so that's good. It only actually hit us once. Fantastic. There we go. Metatite is ours. And it has one fighting move on it. Or one fighting block, I guess. Alright, let's head through this tunnel. It's almost like that Arya person is on the uh, on the Gorok squad because she's always in the wrong pl or the right place at the right time, isn't she? Okay. Head through this pipe, which is very infuriatingly long. There we go, out we come. Oh Croconaw. So to dial. The Croconaw's chasing me. We need a raticate, apparently, to get through there. Uh, which there might be one around. I can't actually remember. There's another drowsy. I'll definitely pick you up. It's a wild drowsy. Oh, maybe this way we didn't even need to come this way. Okay, so drowsy only attacks once. Which is fine, because it's got quite a long, like, uh, cooldown time after it attacks. So if we can sneak behind its side beam attack, or whatever it's going to be, then that works out quite well. Okay, Croconaw, I think... Oh, no, there's a pipe here. I was like, I think we, we don't have anywhere else to go. We'll go down here. Wee! This is much quicker. There's a corfish there. Go this way. Can we go up here? Corfish, no! Ugh, I don't want to catch you. <laughs> I will, I guess. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Oh, oh, come on. Give me give me your experience. There we go. You see, the, the size of the ring we can draw now is pretty huge, which is very helpful. Oh, going back up. Going back up. Up we go. Oh, uh, we can't even go up there. Never mind. Let's go back down then. Uh, because I believe we can come down this way. There's another save point. And looks like three more Grimer. Okay. Um, I think I'm actually going to try and capture these. Ooh, with the help of Corfish. Um, possibly a bad idea, but uh, we'll soon see. Oh, wow, well, yeah. No, it's a... Uh, it's going to be a one-at-a-time kind of jobby. Ooh, this is this is tough. Okay. Okay, Grimer. Nope. Oh, wow. I thought I had it then. Uh, we've got to annoy, avoid those sludge piles. Oh, I got him. I got him. Okay, no extra XP there. I want to save my Drowsy. 
Definitely saving the drowsy. Okay, sludge be gone. Very good, more sludge. Great job, that should be the last of the grime you needed to capture. You should return to the ranger base and report to Joel. Huh? What the? There's an even worse stench coming from over there. Oh, it's making my nose go weird. Okay. Okay. I see what's happening here. Why are you heading over that way if it's bad? Anyway, I think I'm going to call it quits there for today, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. There is a handy dandy save point right in front of us there. Um, join me next time when hopefully we'll find out what that worst stench is and get rid of it quickly before we need uh, any more clothes bags. Alright, thanks for watching. See you all next time. Bye-bye.